Okay, welcome back. We are still on Cassiopeia 1 doing Sarah's personal quest. Our next step of action is to talk to Sarah. But when I load into the game, Sarah's not here. So let's look for Sarah. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Uh, <laughs> did Sarah just bail on me? Hold up. I guess I'll go back and see if she's... There? Okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep. A good sleep? There we go. Um, hi Sarah, you want to talk? You. I don't even know where to begin. I can't even imagine how you're feeling right now. Yeah, this isn't what I expected at all. Oh, there's so much to process, but I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. I'll head up there right away. Good. Just be careful. Are you not going to follow Sona's me? Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. I guess this is where you live now. <laughs> Okay, thanks, partner. So, we're going to the graveyard. And where is that? Uh, of course. Uh... It's just raining. Wait, what time is it right now? Oh, local time is 2 a.m. <laughs> Stark and scary. I guess I'll just follow this path. Going up there. Something behind me. Terribly. <clears throat> I'll go back and get that, um, these organic materials. More of them. I should scan these guys. I'm guessing that's the head. Where the hell? Oh. Oh. They might not... I was gonna say, they might not be 
hostile, but they do show up on my map as a red dot. I think they turn non-hostile after you shoot them a few times, and they just run away. Uh oh. I'm killing every one of them. Level 1. Wasn't there another one somewhere? Huh. Couldn't really see him. Something was red there. Huh. There we go. Dauntless crew crash site. I don't trust you. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Monsters were mentioned. And it's 3 a.m. and it's raining. Crap. Now, is there anything to pick up here? I mean, that's not where I'm supposed to go, so... There should be a graveyard. Oh, yeah. I guess this is it. Pick one up. Heard something. Uh oh. I'm getting hunted by dinosaurs. What is this, Jurassic Park? Ah! <laughs> Running. Silverfish. Ew. Oh, they had some gene tags. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> Return to Sarah. Back through the creepy forest. And they respawn. Oh, I sh should have scanned the silver fish. Oh, whatever. <laughs>
Uh, that's not too far away. I guess we can go there if uh, if we have time. It's actually pretty late right now as well. I'm just trying to record something and get a video out. But if I don't have enough content, I might just go explore that place. Damn it, I returned to my ship. <laughs> These waypoints. <laughs> God dang. Okay, so where am I supposed to go now? No direct path scene. <laughs> uh, I'll cut to when I uh, get back to Sarah. Right, across that place. Geronimo! Okay, let's go in. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? Why me? <laughs> I mean, technically it's her decision. <laughs> um, I agree, but we can't force her to come with us. I know, I know. I'm not proposing we knock her out for God's sake. <sighs> can we though? <laughs> It'd make it a lot easier. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. Help her make a decision. I just... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't do this right now. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? She's not that great with children. <laughs> Why won't Sarah listen to me? Uh, she feels responsible for your situation. Mom told me a thousand times that it wasn't Sarah's fault that we're... Well, that I'm stuck here. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had. Does it? If you stay here alone, you'll never be able to start a new family. I... I never thought of it that way. But... Uh, leaving mom and dad behind... It's really hard. Even though they're dead... I don't want to abandon them. Your mom and dad would want you to live your best life. I... suppose you're right. Mom and Dad always promised that I'd leave here someday. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. Uh, 
Okay, talk to Sarah. Poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. Uh, everything doesn't rest on your shoulders, Sarah. I realize that, but there's still cause for concern. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. I'll consider it. <laughs> if, uh, if it'll make you feel better, then consider it done. That means a lot to me. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Can we just... Let's talk another time. Lots of stuff to pack up here. By the way, we just completely brushed past the fact that there were some other people here. She was pointing a gun at us when we, uh, when we first came, talking about other people. <laughs> Okay, so let's... Oh. <laughs> Fail. Let's go to... Wherever Sarah wanted us to go in this godforsaken planet. Overlook. Where is she? She was just here. Oh. Come on. Before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. I hope this experience has finally put your past to rest. Oh yes, absolutely. And it's all thanks to you. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes wider than they've ever been opened before and it's all because of you just to turn away <laughs> uh let's flirt i'm hoping there's much more than simple gratitude tucked away in that statement perhaps i suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now won't we ah <sighs> well I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. Where are those people Sona mentioned? <laughs> Am I crazy? Didn't she mention that there are like some bad people here? <laughs> Oh, whatever. I'll just return to New Atlantis. Uh, yeah, we'll go into orbit first. So we will travel the ship, and then if there's nothing there, then I will skip past it. Oh, right. There was that um, skill book that I forgot to pick up. I will get that right now. Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm la I landed back in the New Atlantis spaceport because I want to talk to the kid. I guess, see what she has to say. Maybe we can talk later. Oh, hey. Let's talk later. I've got a million things to do. Or not. Time for a little talk, eh? Uh... 
I'll talk to Sarah later then. Got a million things to do? You just landed here. Whatever. Okay, so we're back at Mass and we're going to talk to Admiral Logan again. Diplomacy fails. Every time. You're one of those bosses, huh? <laughs> just stand there watching your employees. Those creatures killed UC citizens. They're not killing anymore. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? <laughs> wow, <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> uh, we found our answers and we also found these gene tags. Not only that. Talking through a window. <laughs> someone there, alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died. That poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Uh, no apology is necessary. We're just glad this is over. Yes, of course. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the Colony War. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Yeah, no need to be a to dick to this guy. He's not too bad. <laughs> Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. Talk to Sona. <laughs> it's talking to each other through class. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the lodge. Unless... Ah. I want that ship. Okay. So she's up here. I guess we need to talk. Sure. Well, there you are. I was wondering when he'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any <laughs> yeah, trouble. By yourself. Yeah. He just it left you there. Hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. How did you find your way on your own? Sarah gave me directions. She's really good at that. Riding that gnat thing was super cool. It was like magic or something. Like something from the stories mom used to read. But the hardest part was having everyone staring at me. All these people in one place. It's kind of scaring me. I don't know why. I hope you like this place. I think I like it. I don't know yet, but it's all really new to me. You'll fit in just fine. You're one of the smartest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillion. It's here, Walter's Sarah. money. <laughs> oh, don't I wish? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. I want her as my companion now. Oh. Sona, let's go. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? Yeah, you can have the frontier. Yeah, Auntie Sarah will buy you a new ship. Well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well... I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to uh, 
to pay my final respects. Wasn't that bad at mass? Okay, yeah. Uh, instead of fast traveling, let's just walk there. But actually, no, let's just fast travel. <laughs> okay, where am I going now? Huh. Never knew this was here. Or never knew what this is for. Sarah. Okay, fine, I'll walk with you. <laughs> I'll caps lock it. Distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. Uh, being remembered by name is better than being completely forgotten. These people laid down their lives for what they believed in, and it cost them dearly. I served shoulder to shoulder with them, and watched some of them die. I know you meant well. But they'll always be more than a name to me. I'm flirting with her again. <laughs> um, this makes no sense, but I only say these things because I care about you, Sarah. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall. So we can talk in private. Uh. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. The waterfall. Like that waterfall? We have a lot of waterfalls here. <laughs> Spaceport, I'm assuming. Okay, waterfall. I'm guessing we're going over to that locale over there. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. Uh, I couldn't agree more. From one explorer to another, I'll take that as a compliment. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. Uh, 
I feel like you're slowing for time here. <laughs> uh, is it that obvious? The truth is, I've asked you up here because I wanted to talk about something very important. I hope nothing's seriously wrong. <laughs> no, not at all. Just let me get all of this out. I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Both of you have been through a lot. Don't get me wrong. Compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps. <laughs> Hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. It's just bad luck, that's all. Bad luck? I seem to run into a good bit of that these days. All I see is someone who's lost and needs help finding it their way. Yeah, sure. And who wants to take on that responsibility? You? Wait a moment. That's exactly what you're saying, isn't it? Nah. Sure, let's romance. I'm saying I love you, Sarah, now and forever. <sighs> Sorry, I am... Um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. <laughs> Friend zone. <laughs> uh, I've been more than willing for a long time. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> And with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. Eh. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Okay. Oh, well, this is a surprise. Oh, that's right. I haven't really spoken about her to you, have I? My mother lives in a fairly remote location, so we rarely speak. Tends to keep her out of my mind. I understand. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. Uh, we can drop the subject if you like. No. We should have discussed this a long time ago. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Uh, sounds like they want you to follow in their footsteps. Mm, wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. 
My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. So that's where you were bitten by the exploration bug. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Uh, it took a lot of guts to do something like that. Yes, I was proud of myself. For a while. You see, my father was... killed. During the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that... We vowed to stay in touch. How exactly did your father die? After the Freestar Collective started farming Vesta, and the UC pushed back, my father was one of the many diplomats sent in to arbitrate. After the talks broke down, war broke out on Vesta, and all of the UC diplomats were evacuated from Freestar space. Unfortunately, my father's transport was caught in the crossfire. I'm sorry to hear about your father. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. <laughs> it brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. I guess we're getting married now. <laughs> uh, I'd like to spend our future together forever. <laughs> you mean that? You'd do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. Uh, how about yes? <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll end the video here for today then. It's getting super late. And, uh, yeah, we finished Sarah's personal quest and apparently we are getting married. That certainly moved quick. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.